Algebra 2 functions and continuity in 5 minutes or less. 30 second vocab. A function is the relationship between input and output. The domain, or input, is the x values to go into a function. The range, or output, is the y values that actually result from the function. I remember range like a musical range, since you can go high to low. Domain is the longer word, so I associate it with the x-axis. A one-to-one -one function occurs if each element of the range is paired with exactly one element of the domain. Let's look closer. Notice how this will keep going on across the x-axis? This visualizes that any real number x input will have a y output. Therefore, the domain is all real numbers. Do you see this point here? It is the highest point of the range, or the limit. So, y is less than or equal to zero. Writing it like this is called algebraic notation. Is it one-to-one? -one? Let's find out using the horizontal line test. If it only crosses once, it is one-to-one. -one. If it crosses multiple times, it is not one-to-one. -one. Let's move on to continuity. A continuous graph is an unbroken line or curve. A discrete graph is like a scatter plot. The points are not connected. You may have a graph that is neither, where some points are connected, but some are not. So, how do we write domain and range? Set builder notation. Set builder notation uses the squiggly braces. This symbol is read as such that. For example, this is read as x such that x is less than 2. Interval notation. If the endpoint is not included, use parentheses. If the endpoint is included, use brackets. Always use parentheses for infinity and negative infinity. Let's try it. Here is our graph. Let's find the domain and range. First, let's use set builder notation. Add the squiggly bracket and x such that x. The symbol that looks like the lowercase Greek letter epsilon is read as element of, and since the domain is all real numbers, you can write an r. You can see the limit may also be the lowest point. In this case, it's negative 6. So, why such that y is greater than or equal to negative 6? Interval notation. As we've established, the domain is all real numbers. Therefore, you'd write negative infinity, infinity. The left side is the low end. So for range, you would put negative 6 on the left. On the high end, it goes on forever, so it would be infinity. Do not forget that if endpoints are not included, it will be parentheses, and if the endpoint is included, it will be brackets.